Welcome to IBM Mainframer, a complete reference for mainframe programmer. Let us see JCL, introduction. JCL is abbreviated as Job Control Language. Job Control Language, JCL, is a set of statements that you code to tell the ZOS operating system about the work you want it to perform. In other words, it is a set of control statements that provide the specifications necessary to process a job. What JCL does? JCL used to communicate with the OS about your requirements for running a job. Telling OS who you are, allows priority distinctions. Telling OS your space and time requirements to execute the job. Telling OS what programs, load modules, you need to run. Telling OS what datasets are needed by program for input and output processing. Now, you may thinking what is a job? A job is defined as execution of one or more related programs in a sequence. It provides the communication between an application program and the computer's operating system. Job flow. When you execute the job, it goes through the following phases. First read the input data. Send the data for processing. Executing the data and send the data to output. Let me explain an example to understand the use of JCL in mainframe system. For example, we take an input file with student records that contain student name and their marks. And we need to create an output file, that is, student report, with student name and their total marks. For this example, we use COBOL program to create logic for calculating total mark for the student. So this COBOL program takes student detail file as input file and generate output file with student name and their total mark. In order to execute the COBOL, we need JCL, job control language. In this JCL, we have to provide all the necessary detail which is required for the Z/OS operating system to execute the COBOL program. So, what are those details which we need to mention in the JCL? Details like input file name, output file name. If output file is new, we have to define the size of the file. Also other system related information which is required for Z/OS to execute the COBOL program. What we discussed so far is explained in the flow diagram. First, determine the need and characteristics of the job. Once it is determined, we have to code a JCL. After, coding is completed. Execute the JCL and once execution completed we will get the output. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. For more details, please visit our website www.ibmmainframer.com.